Hi everyone, my name is Emilia Magdaleno and today I'll be your teacher in our literature class. We're going to be talking about what it means to make an inference based on text clues. So what is an inference? Well, an inference is an educated guess. Why do we need inferences? Well, we can use them to read between the lines and understand things that the author wants us to know that they do not directly tell us in the text. To make these inferences, we're going to use clues from the text and connect them to things that we already know. These things that we already know are called schema. All right, and this might sound a little bit confusing, but don't worry, you've already done this in your everyday lives. For example, if we were to walk past a house that looks like this, what could we infer? Yes, go ahead. It's a birthday party. Yes, but why do we think it's a birthday party? Um, there's a girl blowing out the candles, there's streamers, mm -hmm. balloons, things that are like normally in a birthday party. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. We are using the clues in the image, aka the cake and the balloons, our prior knowledge, aka our schema of what a birthday party looks like, to make an educated guess, aka an inference that this is a birthday party. We can make these same kind of inferences when we're reading literary text and making these inferences gives us a better understanding of what the text is all about. Let's take a look at a passage from the book, Lord of the Flies, that we've just begun reading. But before we get into that, let's talk about what we've already read in the book, some background. Any volunteers? Yeah, Julia? So, so far we learned that a bunch of boys hung out in on a deserted island and they seem to be stuck there without any adults. Yes, exactly. Can you tell me some of the characters? That I remember Ralph and Piggy. Ralph and Piggy. Okay, we're going to focus on Piggy today. And I also am going to add on here that the boys have gotten to the parts in the book where they are gathering to discuss all the things that are happening to them. So let's take a look at this quote. Piggy held up the conch. The booing sagged a little. Then it came up again to strength. I got the conch, I tell you. I got the conch. Surprisingly, there was silence now. The tribe were curious to hear what amusing thing he might have to say. Silence and pause. But in the silence, a curious air noise close by Ralph's head. He gave it half its attention. And there it was again, a faint zoop. Someone was throwing stones. Can anybody tell me what we can infer from this text? Yeah, go ahead. Um, Piggy's trying to talk to the voice, but they won't listen to him. Yes, perfect. But why do we think that? Um, the quote uses words like, booing when Piggy went up to talk and it's clear that he's yelling. Yes, exactly. When he's yelling, he sounds kind of like stressed about it, like he wants to get their attention. So what can we infer these boys think of Piggy through this text? They don't like him. That's true, but why? Because they ignore him by not letting him talk and the boys throwing stones at him. Yes, perfect, throwing stones. We are using our schema about how other people treat others disrespectfully, like throwing things at them, and connecting it to the clues in the text to make an inference that tells us that Piggy is not well liked by these boys. So clues, schemas, and inferences. These inferences can lead us to believe that throughout the rest of the book, these boys might continue to disrespect Piggy, right? So to remember this, I'm gonna show you guys a little trance um, on how to make these inferences, okay? You're gonna repeat after me. Sound good? Okay. Students called it Let's Unite. Students called it Let's Unite. Schemas and clues give us insight. Schemas and clues give us insight. Schemas what we got in our brains. Schemas what we got in our brains. Clues are in the text like hidden games. Clues are in the text like hidden games. Reading the text, a mystery unfolds. Reading the text, a mystery unfolds. Our inference crafted, stories untold. Our inference crafted, stories untold. Students called it, they're so right. Students called it, they're so right. Schemas and clues make inferences of reader's delight. Schemas and clues make inferences of reader's delight. Yes, perfect. Okay, and this little chant also works as a mnemonic device as Clues, schemas, and inferences have the same first letter as students called it. Thank you so much.